Hey guys, so someone asked in the comment section of one of my videos, what was the difference between motivation and self-discipline? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I think it's such a good question and I feel like people feel so much pressure that motivation alone is what's going to carry them through, especially when it comes to working out and exercise and it's just not the case. Firstly, everybody's motivation is different. Some people are motivated by for example, we'll stick to fitness stuff, but like if people are motivated by weight loss or they're motivated by fitting into an item of clothing or they're motivated by seeing the strength results go up in their lifting or they're motivated by their performance as an athlete. Motivation isn't something that can drive you around the clock all the time, no matter what you're doing in life. Let's get more specific. So for me, I've been motivated to work out for different reasons throughout my life. When I was much younger, I definitely was more motivated by weight loss and how I looked and my physical appearance and that sort of thing. That's what kind of got me started or kept me going from time to time. As I got older, I was more motivated by my athletic performance because I was doing training to play roller derby and other sports. And then there was when I was doing CrossFit, I was motivated by seeing my strength improve over time because I was tracking my strength and my lifting and how much I was lifting and how much stronger I was getting. And now that I'm doing yoga and working out at home and it's a very different type of working out, my motivation honestly is to be a healthy person, to be a healthy person in my life to the people around me. Because I know when I am not incorporating exercise into my life on a regular basis, it really affects my mood, it affects my personality, it affects my it affects my performance at my job. It affects my interactions with people that I love. And so I would say now that self-discipline plays a much larger role in my exercise routine than motivation does. Self-discipline is something that we cultivate over time. When I look up the definition on Google. It says that self-discipline is the ability to push yourself forward, take action, regardless of how you're feeling physically or emotionally. When you're motivated to do something, you're excited to do it, you're ready to do it, you're putting on your gym shoes, you're excited to go to the gym, you're ready to smash your goals and attack whatever program you have, that's motivation. And that generally kind of starts before you start a program, before you try out for a sports team, when you have a goal that you want to get to and it's exciting to reach that goal. But once you've reached that goal, so you've made the team, you signed up for the fit camp, you bought a gym membership, What's the thing that's gonna keep you going? It's the discipline, it's the self-discipline. So how do you cultivate discipline into your life? How do you build that discipline? So it's not something that's just poof there one day. It's something that we have to kind of create in ourselves. For me, discipline in my life has been built out of consistency. Because over the years, as I've been consistent with having physical activity in my life, I've also consistently experienced how it makes me feel afterwards, during. And so I know that it's something that I value and I know it's good for me, but it's not necessarily something I always want to do. An example that I have in my mind right now is cleaning your bathroom or cleaning your house. I don't know a lot of people that are super excited about cleaning their toilet, but I do know that we know that having a clean house, a clean bathroom, a clean space is good for us. It's good for our living environment. It's good for everyone else who lives there. It's healthier. So we do these tasks knowing that there's a positive outcome. There's a benefit for us in doing it. Whether we really want to do the thing or not, we know the result is worth it. So I've had clients contact me and ask me about this and also how to create discipline in their lives. And that's what my online fit camps are centered around. And I hope that other personal trainers also would use the same formulation when it comes to creating a program for a client to help build that discipline. And what it is basically is you create achievable goals, you create an achievable schedule, something that you can definitely do to get started. So whether it is going to the gym one day a week, going to the gym two days a week, doing an online workout, one or two days a week. It might seem like, oh, that's not enough, but it's definitely enough if you've never done anything before and you wanna get started and build that discipline and that routine. Because once you start incorporating that activity into your week, week after week after week, and it's definitely achievable, so you're always able to fit it in, you will start to learn the benefits of that activity. You'll start to feel the positive results of doing that activity. So 
perhaps the first week or two you really are enjoying the new activity whether it's a new yoga studio you're going to the pool and you're swimming you pick something that's fun that you like to do and that early stage is supported by motivation because you're excited it's new it's something fun but you keep the routine of going one to two days a week one to two days a week and definitely at some point in that month or two months or however long it is that you're doing that you're going to reach a day where you don't want to go because you don't feel great because you just want to stay at home you're in a bad mood you're feeling extra stressed and so the motivation isn't there that day but the self-discipline is because you know that every Monday and Wednesday after you go and you do that session at the yoga studio, you feel so much better. You know that on days where you're feeling stressed, it actually probably is going to help you feel better than if you didn't do it at all. And so that experience that you create for yourself, that is what builds your discipline and your self-discipline that will last a lifetime. I'll tell you this, I don't always want to do yoga. A lot of times I feel like it's not that exciting. I was honestly much more motivated in the past to do things like roller derby or CrossFit because that style at the time really excited me. There was like lots of things to measure my progress and my results. And so I was driven a lot more by motivation then. And now with doing yoga, getting myself to the studio sometimes is a bit harder. However, I know from the experiences of going regularly, especially when I did my teacher training, I was doing yoga quite often, and I also did a 40-day yoga challenge, which I will link above and talk about that. I know the results after a yoga class are, in, in terms of improving my mental state, it's exponential. It is so drastic how much yoga helps me manage my anxiety, as someone who's in their 30s and has worked an office job for the last 15 years, I know that yoga helps me in so many ways. So even on the days where I don't want to get onto my mat or I'd rather, you know, stay on the couch or do anything really other than yoga, I can look back on the experiences when I have done it and know the experience of afterwards, how good it makes me feel and that's what gets me going. So the point of this video is just mainly to let you know that if you don't feel like a rock star every time it's time to work out or you feel kind of like a failure or something's wrong with you because you don't love exercise, that's not the case. That's normal. What I would hope if you're really struggling to find an activity that you enjoy, that you look for something that's fun that really does pique your interest because that's step one. Step one is finding something that will motivate you to start. So if you don't like running, you don't like yoga, you don't like swimming, try boxing try getting yourself a trampoline and jumping on a trampoline try doing a boot camp there's so many different options don't feel like you have to pick one and if you don't want to do it then that's the end of your journey for you sometimes it's hard to get started but like i said just try to commit to something that's very achievable maybe one or two times a week an activity that's maximum 10 20 minutes there's no wrong way to start incorporating movement and physical activity into your life. It's all, it all counts, it's all important. Whether it's just going for a walk around the block or walking your dog, going for a walk with a friend, trying a 10 minute stretching video online from YouTube, any of those things, start out a few times a week, start to see the benefits of that and how it really makes you feel. That's gonna keep you going for the long haul. And just to let you know, I do have my personal training certification. I'm a certified yoga teacher now. And I do run online monthly fit camps. And they're centered around not only physical movement, but also meditation and journaling. There is so much value in incorporating all of those things into your daily life. So if that's something that might interest you, feel free to send me an email. There's information in the description box below on how to contact me or through my social medias to kind of learn more about what that program looks like. It's every single month. It's always different. We have a group there that supports one another. And that's another big part of staying motivated is having others to support you. And so we have a great community for that as well. So I hope this video has helped. And I hope that you don't feel alone and know that how you're feeling is totally normal and it takes time and you just gotta go step by step and I hope that you can take your first step soon. Okay, so that's it and I'll see you in the next one.